And welcome back. We're joined by Jim Barber and Jordan Alexander Holt from the Branson Regional Arts Council. And they're here to tell us about an upcoming show at the historic Owen Theater. This is a movie that, I mean, you're doing the show. We're doing the stage But version. so many people are, you know, familiar with the movie. Yes. I guess yes. if you're a certain age, because it's, it's back a ways. It's even the younger crowds, too. When I was getting ready to do the rehearsals and stuff, I would go around, hey, we're doing Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Uh -huh. Everybody just lost their minds. It's my favorite. I watched oh, it with my mom. I, I watched it with yeah. my grandma. I did it's, it as a child with yeah. my mom, and I, I just remember the music and the dancing, and it was mm -hmm. such a high-energy show. Yes. So I think this will be wonderful. Yes, it will be. And it's high energy is absolutely the uh -huh. The operative phrase. <laughs> I, I was going to ask with Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, the choreography that I remember is you want to, I mean, beautiful, athletic, uh, oh, yeah. non -stop. frantic. Yes. <laughs> I mean, are you going to be able to duplicate or, you know, I, I'm sure you don't want to duplicate it, right. but that kind of energy, is that what people are going to experience? At and the that's Owens? what they're going to get. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you're right, it is all of those things and so much more. And we're, we're pushing the, the space and our actors to the limits, um, but we definitely have uh, raised the bar as far as choreography is concerned. We're, we're spinning and jumping and lifting and all kinds of crazy stuff. So they're going to they're get exactly what they're expecting. How long has it been taking to get the choreography down for this? It was six weeks okay. uh, total, um, which... Uh, Sounds grueling it is, it is. It, actually, you know, they handled it really, really well. Uh -huh. um, every, my actors were wonderful. Everything I asked them to do, they were like, okay, let's try it, let's do it, let's work it out, let's make this happen. Um, I didn't have to fight uh, for any of that. They just gave it all to me. They were so generous, and I'm forever grateful for We've all We've got actors that I've never seen dance before mm -hmm. that you have them dancing like pros. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's really amazing. Anybody yeah. can dance. I keep saying it all the time. You but don't have you to have, have to a dedicate certain time. yourself. You and this one, yeah. you really. I mean, we're talking about the dance. The music is terrific, uh -huh. too. Yeah. Yes. yes, absolutely. Yeah. Some great classic numbers. Um, there's been some new uh, songs from the film that's put into the new show. It's been reimagined a couple of times. Okay. So we've got a couple of nice numbers that uh, may be new to audiences. If you've seen it before, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to get some new, oh, uh, some new okay. content. It's going to be fun. Does the title say it all, Jim, or is there a story that people need to Oh, understand? there's probably an understory. Seven brides, yes. seven brothers. You can imagine what's going to happen, I guess. But uh, <laughs> the brides are going to marry the brothers or something like that. But it's sort of a war of the sexes, really. Mm -hmm. but, uh, so there's really a modern... Uh, Jordan has really studied this quite in-depthly yes. as far as <laughs> the, the, how this relates to modern day uh -huh. society. Uh, yeah, and I, I, I was talking about that a little bit in the, in the director's notes about how modern the show feels even though it's set in 1850s Oregon about mm -hmm. the women having a lot more agency and able to make the choices in their own lives uh -huh. and and you know it's, it, it's a really nice theme that runs throughout the whole show and it's uh, the, the most important thing to remember is uh, it's based on um, Plutarch's lives, uh, the Sabine women, which were they were kidnapped by the Romans and made yep. into wives. It's kind of hinges on that kind of a story. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're familiar with that, then the rest of it, it just it, it just comes. It's fun and comedy. Well, now you know you're talking about seven brides, seven brothers. We're talking about 14 people right away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Large cast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what not even half the I, cast. That's what, no, no, what about no. the rest of the cast? 20, 26, 27, because we've yeah. got seven brides, seven brothers, uh, all of the brides, other suitors in mm -hmm. town, okay. village elders, preachers. We've got everybody. <laughs> So it's the whole town of Branson is going to be on mm -hmm, stage. Exactly. Kind of, kind of like, and what? a few people in the audience, too. So that's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I tell, tell you what, you know, because we're talking about, you know, a, a cast that that's, that's that size. And I'm thinking of the theater. And you're going to really have to, I mean, it's more of an intimate setting, is it not? Mm, very much. It's, For people who haven't been there. It's a very beautiful, intimate setting. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a rock-walled theater with big beams. There's only 200 seats, mm -hmm. uh, so there's not a bad seat in the house. But the stage literally is from wall to wall, and it, it goes back a little bit. But we use the entire theater. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Upstairs, up oh, okay. in the old projection area, those... There are dressing rooms up there, and so the actors can use that. Uh, they come in through the aisles. You are part of the audience uh, of the show when you're in the audience. Yeah, it's a very immersive. One experience. of our productions, mm -hmm. but uh, we have put on productions that people said could not be done mm -hmm. in that venue. Well, and I wouldn't have guessed you would great. do this at that theater, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then again, that's uh, one of your hallmarks is the fact that you are immersive in in many of the shows that you do. Yes, and we've we had, pride ourselves on that. Yeah, we've mm -hmm. had some really great shows that are huge productions. Uh, I think the largest cast we had was 71, uh, which was our production of wow. Shrek Jr. Yeah. Now, that one, we had to split them into two different casts okay. because we had so 
so many, but uh, it's, it's just unbelievable the amount of talent that we get from our production crews, our directors, yeah. our right. choreographers, well, everybody's our do their vocal, uh, and then our actors, of course. Are All right, just tell fantastic. folks when the run of the show is and how they can get tickets. It starts this Friday, November 1st through the 10th. There's eight productions. Get your tickets online at bransonarts.org uh, forward slash tix, T I X, or you can call our box office 417 336 4255 and uh, we can get you your tickets set up right there. Tickets are selling well, so we uh, recommend you get them early. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, and yeah. you have a little, uh, yeah. oh, I guess, you, uh, an example of something <laughs> oh, that's, that's going to be good. Going on. Yes, I have the, the first bride of the, of the piece, Sarah Fabulous. Sutherland, um, who is playing the role of Millie, um, and she's here to sing One Man, which is All her right. song about after she realizes she's been tricked, uh -huh. um, and, but she's going to dedicate herself to her relationship. Awesome. And here he is. The stage is yours, Sarah. To make you bitter, but I've never been a quitter, and I'm not nearly done. Didn't marry seven brothers, didn't marry seven brothers, only married one. I want one man to be mine alone. Crowds of strangers are all I've known. One man to be frank and free with. One vow to be tied to Someone willing to love me honestly Don't want to be lied to I want one man who can show he cares For more than cooking and dusted chairs One man who respects my thinking To promises planted Firmly rooted will share our feelings And not take them for granted I walked into love and I took a blow But I'll never break I'm holding my ground cause deep down I know it's not a mistake, it's not a mistake, it's not a mistake. I want one man and I'll face the fight, won't give in till it works out right. Things worth having don't come easy, I'll finish what I began. I know this is it, I'm not gonna quit, I found. 